hello everyone welcome to weeks ideas in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to solve errors that make your code to work on a preview mode but doesn't allow the code to work on a live site so what i want to do right now is to scroll down to a form that i just created and i want to be able to collect content from users and this form has been connected to a data set that is connected to a collection of mine which i created and i want to allow site users to be able to save content to this content manager here now the only problem is i'm able to save content from my editor but i'm not able to save content from the live site so what i want to do right now is to preview this section and then let's take a look at how this works so i'm gonna go ahead and fill up this form all right so i filled up this form with my name my email and also a description here and when i click on submit you can see that that content has been submitted with a message saying that that has been submitted and we're going to do exactly the same thing on on the live website so i'm gonna go ahead again and preview my content amazing so now i have gone ahead to preview my content and when i click on submit it's gonna throw an error and this is exactly the same form that is supposed to do exactly the same thing and i'm going to show you five ways that you can use to solve this error and the fourth one is going to surprise you so join me in this tutorial as we find out the five ways that you can use to solve this error by showing your support to this channel by subscribing so that everyone else who has this error can also find it by giving this video a thumbs up and also letting me know in the comment section if you have experienced something like this and you need my help assisting you with that also don't forget to turn on your bell notification to be the first to know of future videos like this now let's start with the first option which is publishing and saving your website make sure that each time you make a change on your website make sure that you publish and then you save your website now let's say that doesn't work for you and you have tried that you have published your site you have saved your site and it still doesn't work for you then let's try out number two trick so let's go to the number two trick so number two we're going to be clearing our browser catch and cookies if you're on a chrome browser you want to head over to this icon here and you're going to go all the way to more settings and you're going to go all the way to clear browser data so this is where you're going to be able to clear all the browser data that you have so right here you can go ahead and select the cookies and other site data and you can also select the catch images and files now this is going to do a lot of things so you can see from here that this is going to sign you out for most of the sites but you will still stay logged into your google account this will free up 320 mb as you can see we have a couple of content already on our catch images and files so you can go ahead and clear your catch now another way that you can actually target this clearing of catch if you don't want to clear the entire catch browser you can go ahead and clear the catch for your Wix website so you can go over to cookies and other site data and then you're going to go all the way to see all site data and permissions click on this and you can find all the website that you have visited and you can go ahead and select the website that has the issue that you need to clear for example you can see this is wix and also you can clear your wix website's data now if you have gone ahead to publish your site and saved your site and you have also cleared your browser data and you're still not able to get your live site to work the number three trick to this is that you're going to go ahead and log your code to console now most of the time you have a code on your website and probably most of the time that you get these errors is because you have a code on your website and the code doesn't run on a live site but runs on a preview you want to go ahead and actually run this on the console and to do that you can open up your console if you already have a set of code all you need to do is to go to console.log log and this is going to be able to get the error and what exactly is causing it but let's assume you're not using any single line of code let's say you're using a data set to submit items to your content manager and then you're not able to see why this doesn't work i'm gonna go ahead again and pre-fill this and then let's take a look at our console to see the error that we get so i have pre-filled my contents and when i click on submit we get an error and what you can do right now to see the console and to see what this error is causing you can right click on your browser and then go to inspect this is going to open up the element but we're going to go over to the console you're going to first of all land yourself on the info section but go all the way to the errors so this is where you get the error and as you can see it tells us that the user error and they were getting a data set api save operation failed so this is an error that is telling us that our item was not saved and again we're not able to understand what this means we don't even know what's causing it still but if you do have a code it might be able to explain this thing further for you if this still doesn't give you a clear description of 
what the error is all about then we're going to go to number four which is the best solution you probably want to use to solve this number four is that if you have a form like this and you're not able to save this form on your live site but only on your preview it means that you, your site users do not have sufficient permission to be able to save the content and that is from the content manager so head over to the databases and then go over to your collection so mine is called the contact us so you're going to click on this ellipsis here and go to permissions and privacy so over here you're going to see the kind of permissions that we have now anyone can view this content but only the admin can actually add content to this and right now i am not currently logged into this live website and that is the reason why i'm not able to save this content but on my editor i am the admin and that is the reason why i have access to save on my preview site but not on my live site now if we change this to anyone can submit they're going to find out that the service editor can actually go ahead and submit on our live site you can review the remaining options to see if you really want to give access to anyone to delete or to update their content so let's go ahead and save this and then let's publish and then save our website and view again on our live website to see if that works all right so i have just published and saved my site and then let's scroll down to our form and i'm going to go ahead and pre-fill this form all right so i have filled out this form and when i click on submit let's take a look if this submits so as you can see this form has successfully submitted and the error that we had which is the most common kind of error you're going to get from your code not working on a live site but only works on a preview site now let's take a look at our content manager our collection to see if that item was saved so indeed this item was saved as you can see from right over here and finally the number five way that you can actually use to check exactly what is going on with your site is that you can head over to status.wix.com which is a website that wix uses to let you know about your uptime right now you can see that everything is all working in wix and sometimes wix is down sometimes there are some bugs or some errors and you're not able to figure this thing out and so you come over here to check if there is currently an error so over here you can see that something was going on here and something was also going on on this date and this is for the site loading we also have the site editing and sometimes this is an error that happens when you are actually trying to work on your site and some elements are just having issues so let's go over to the view historical uptime so over here you can see the month view and the date that there were some errors now on february it was 100 percent there was no issue and on march as you can see is 99.98 percent which is actually good now you can go ahead and also check out a couple of other issues that you might be having here which could include the site sign in or the site loading and so on so so far there is no issue with the site sign in site editing sign in but then you can also go ahead and click on report a problem with wix so here you can let wix know what exactly is going on you can tell them that there's an issue with your form and you have tried everything you can you can also go to supports.wix.com which is a knowledge based support system that allows you to search for a lot of solutions to the problems that you might probably have so that is it with this tutorial with the five ways that you can actually solve a situation where you are able to run a code on your preview site but you cannot run the code on the live site do let me know in the comment section if you have any of these situations and which of these solutions actually helped you out and if you are still experiencing this situation even after applying these five solutions do let me know in the comment section or you can contact me on my website at wixideas.com contact thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video